Hi, so I'm presenting to someone from Sony in roughly the 1960s. So I'd like to present or pitch a um, invention called the portable CD player. The problem with current day music players like um, stereos and re record players is that they're so big and they take up a lot of space and they're really not mobile. And you can't play the music everywhere because it'll probably have people around you. So a smaller music player that's roughly the size of a CD and a little bit thicker um, doesn't require as many wires because it runs on batteries and you don't have to plug in the wall all the time. And it'll play music just to the listener privately and it won't disrupt the public around you. It's much easier to carry around, obviously, because it's so much smaller. And the batteries are, you can constantly change them, so you don't have to buy a new one each time it breaks or something. Um, and you, the CDs are much smaller than having a giant record with you at all times. So um, it uses CDs that have music burned onto them, obviously, and are scanned by a small part inside the player. Um, with like reflective glass, and um, it's played through the headphones, so um, it doesn't play out loud. Um, actual parts are simple, you really just need a printed circuit board, something to read the CDs, which is like I said earlier, reflective glass, and the CD itself. The materials that you really are focusing on are plastics, reinforced aluminum, uh, glass, and circuit boards, and most of this is based on silicon products. Um, people want this because you can listen to what you want whenever you want, so it'll be a big hit and you can mass produce it because all types of people are going to want it because it's a much bigger market, it's a mass market, um, because almost everyone listens to music, and the cost for prototypes would probably be a few thousand dollars so you can figure out what works best, and so the sound sounds the best, and um, I'd like to set up another meeting to talk about this more in depth. Thank you.